Coming off their best season in recent memory, Burlington Township finished 2018 with a record of 10-1 falling to Woodrow Wilson in the South Group 3 sectional final. The top-seeded Falcons' gritty defense was complemented by quarterback Danny Grzowski, who threw for over 1,600 yards with 28 passing touchdowns and just seven interceptions. Now with the season just a few weeks away, the team has learned from the upset loss and has turned their attention to 2019. Well, we just been looking at our films from the game and just studying and understanding what, what mistakes we've been doing and um, coming into the season uh, better and just learning from the mistakes that we had last year. So It's pretty fun, you know, working with the young guys. Everybody's building chemistry, and we're just ready to start a new year and forget about last year and move on. Um, just starting to do like the little things correctly. Everybody do their job, lock in, and bring 100% every time. I mean, it's been, it's been harder for me, like, we, we, train, we condition a lot harder, practice a little harder because of that loss. But for me, we're going back to the chip, so yeah, I guess we're going to see them back there for a round two. Uh, it feels good to be out here with the uh, team again, just to get back into things, back in, play football again. Uh, we're coming for everything, just be ready. Uh, tough loss, the only thing you do is come back stronger, bigger, faster, stronger. You know, <sighs> You know, playing in that game and losing, it is tough. But I think when you look back and we, and we reflected on the season, we were very, very pleased in the off season. Uh, you know, the graduating seniors were pleased, we're pleased. And I, and I think it's, it's hopefully it carries on that we can't wait to get started for this year. Having graduated a senior heavy class, Burlington will look to its incoming sophomores to fill the holes of quarterback and skill positions. But head coach Tom Madiria has faith his underclassmen are up for the challenge of varsity play. Uh, most of them are coming from like freshman year. Um, we got a lot of inexperienced young guys and he's having to step up. As a senior, I'm just trying to do my job and help the young guys kind of like understand what's going on and like welcome to the varsity level. Uh, we have to get their confidence ready, you know, being a young guy up and playing varsity level is pretty hard. So we just get their confidence up just so they can feel comfortable in playing that type of situation. Uh, just get be behind them on everything, have their back 100% through everything they want to do, and just keep pushing them to be a better than. If a teammate is not understanding, uh, I usually just talk to them like, hey, you're supposed to do this. And um, I just be talking to them whenever they're out of the zone, I was like, hey, just gain your zone, just, just forget about the play and just um, go on to the next one. Uh, I gotta just play my position, and do what I have to do to help the, help the younger guys, the, the unexperienced guys, feel me? And yeah, uh, the biggest thing, everybody gotta play their position because, you feel me, last year we had our team, but we lost like basically the whole team this year, so we got a lot of new guys, unexperienced guys coming in, so they just gotta play their position in the varsity level and do what they gotta do to win the game. Challenge is we're going to be young. Uh, we lost a lot of key people at a lot of key positions. For example, defensively, we lost our front six, our four defensive linemen, our two inside linebackers, and we lost uh, three people out of five in the secondary. So, you know, we're going to have new people playing. Uh, we're going to have a lot of sophomores playing. Our freshman class was undefeated, so there's a lot of good athletes there, but they're still going to be sophomores. And when you're young, you know we're gonna we're gonna have some uh, growing pains, and uh, but that makes what that's what makes this year fun from a coaching aspect. We got to get after it a little bit uh, to get these guys ready. The Falcons open up on the road against Paul the Sixth from the barn. I'm Neri Rodriguez, and you already know it's Jersey Sports Zone.